Tom and I are going to stagnate here. Sabadee. We're going to go left lead. And what we're going to do, when we're on the left lead, we're going to do our quarter turn pivots in a counterclockwise motion. We're going to transition from there, adjust, face the opposite way, go right lead facing the, the person behind us, and we're going to go quarter turns in a clockwise manner. So we keep the hands up. So this is a footwork drill. We don't look at our feet. We keep that fighting stance where it's toe to heel position. Your feet are apart based on the natural walking stride of you as an individual. So if you don't know, you just kind of walk naturally. You stop and pivot, and whatever distance your feet are in that walking stride is your fighting stance position. So we're facing the guy here. He's gonna to turn to our backside, right? Typically that's smart for him because if he comes on this side and circles me, I'm gonna clock him with my backhand. So it's safer for a person, you or the opponent, to go to the backside. So they circle to my backside. I follow them in a, a counterclockwise quarter turn. Now they follow my backside, I follow them. Now they follow my backside, I follow them. And then we do it one more time. So we've done a total of five movements on the feet, starting this one as one, finishing off back in the same position at five. Now we're gonna face the person behind us, so we're gonna make an adjustment on our feet. We're on our right lead now, south pop, so now we're gonna go uh, clockwise instead of counterclockwise. We go to our backside here, he circles to our backside, we face him or her. Goes to the backside, we face him or her. Goes to the backside, we face him or her. Goes to the backside, we face him or her. So now we're back in the right lead. We'll stay there, now we'll go from there to face the front again. So we have to make a little adjustments on our feet. Now we're back in that uh, uh, left lead or orthodox stance. We go counterclockwise when we're in the left stance, so we quarter turn, because they're coming toward our backside. Two, three, four, back to start. Now we adjust the feet, we face the back one, back to the right, and repeat. So we go backside or clockwise. Two, three, four, finish off. And the drill can keep continuing. So the idea is when we're in the left lead, we're moving around. <laughs> The other person, more than likely an experienced person is gonna go that side. They're not gonna shuffle into my hands or into my foot. They wanna get away from the power of the back hand or the back foot, or unless they have a different strategy, but most people, to play a conservative, you would shuffle to the back side. So if Tom's over here, if Tom goes to my back, this, this direction, right? Then I clobber him here. Do it again, he comes in, I'm clobbering him here. It makes him, it gives him better sense of security when he goes this way. If I stay there, he clobbers me, right? But I don't want that to happen, so what do I do? I face him, right? And then he keeps going there, I face him, he keeps going there, so he's going to my back side every time. So when my left foot's in front, I'm always circling in a counterclockwise manner. If we're on the right lead, and Tom goes this direction, right? I clobber him. He comes this direction, I clobber him. He doesn't like that, so he goes this way to my back, but if I stay here and I don't move, I don't have him in reach, and he clobbers me. He kicks or punches, I kick or punch, you, I'm in reach. So I don't like that, so what do I do? I quarter turn, I face him right away. Then he moves, I don't want him clobbering me, so I face him. I'm quarter turning in a clockwise manner. So the drill is to teach you, when you're in your southpaw, you need to learn to move in circles, Right? In a different pattern than you would with the opposite side. So left side, again, the clock counterclockwise is this way. So I'm typically, if I want to keep center ring focus and control, I'm going to be turning my circling and pivoting more than likely in a counterclockwise position. If I'm right lead, I'm trying to control the center of the ring. They're circling to gain control of the center. So I want to start getting used to moving in a clockwise manner. Practice that.